Hi everyone, welcome to practice. So today we've got a short but pretty fiery, energizing practice and it's all about waking up the core. So we're gonna get started right away since it's only 10 minutes long, you will want a block for today's class and if you don't have a block, even something such as a towel will work. So let's get started. We're gonna begin lying down on our backs. Have your block in reaching distance and then please come to lay down with your knees bent, your feet flat on the floor. And if it's comfortable, you might rest your hands somewhere on the torso, such as the belly, or one hand on the belly, one on the chest. Allow the eyes to soften or to close. And then invite a slow, deep breath in through the nose, filling up the low belly with air. And then take an open mouth clearing breath. And start to find a steady breath here, perhaps in and out of the nose. Take a moment just to settle, to ground, to establish a grounding breath. The idea of doing core work can be a little bit stressful or uninviting. I completely understand, but can we go into the next 10 minutes with gratitude for what our body can do for us? With your next breath in, allow the eyes to flutter open. And now you'll interlace your fingers behind your head and then pin your elbows in and you might feel that rib cage connection, how when you pin your elbows in, your ribs drawn towards each other. And now bring your legs into a tabletop position, knees over the hips, flexing at the ankle, draw your toes straight back towards your face. Take an inhale and as you exhale, can you try to flatten your low back to the mat? And if that feels a little elusive, do the opposite. Arch your low back, the lumbar spine, so there's lots of space between the low back and the mat. Then do the opposite. Bring the low back closer to the mat. That emphasizes the pelvis rocking backwards, which is actually how we want to keep the pelvis for the next few exercises. Lift your head, your shoulders, your upper back off the mat, draw the front ribs down and in, and then as you inhale, extend the right leg forward. Imagine you were pushing a weight in front of you. Exhale, bring the right leg back to tabletop. Same side, inhale, right leg goes forward. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, right leg forward. You might imagine you had a weight on your leg. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, leg forward. Exhale, bring it in. You decide how low to go, inhale, exhale. But if going too low causes the low back to arch, inhale, then stay a little higher, exhale. Last four, inhale three, inhale two, and one. Right leg comes in, switch, inhale, left leg forward, exhale, bring it in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, the ribs hug in, inhale, exhale, inhale, imagine you're pushing something away from you, exhale, build your own resistance, inhale, exhale, last five, three, Sorry, four, I can't count when I'm doing core work. Three, my mind wants to jump ahead, two. And last one, inhale forward. Exhale, bring it in, lay all the way down, hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze. Interlace your fingers behind your head, but do the opposite, interlace opposite thumb on top, pin the elbows in, the ribs hug in, bring your legs into tabletop. Curl your head, your shoulders, your upper back off the mat. And then stay to exhale, move your front ribs down towards the frontal hip bones. Can you feel that low back connection to the mat? So now legs together. Inhale, send the legs forward. Exhale, bring them in. Inhale, push. Like you're pushing something away from you. Exhale, bring it in. You decide how low, low the legs are. Inhale. Exhale, I like more at a diagonal. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, let's go five more. Inhale forward, exhale in. Inhale forward, exhale in. There's no rushing, faster is not better. Last three, two, and last one. Lay down, hug your knees into your chest, give yourself that squeeze, and then grab your block. 
Now you'll bring your legs back into a tabletop position. Bring the block the long way on the right thigh and bring your right upper arm on the block so the elbow bends. And match your left side with your right side even though there's no prop there. Curl your head, your shoulders, your upper back off the mat. In this exercise, you can always support the head with the right hand. I like to do that a lot of the time. Inhale, left leg goes forward, left arm back. Exhale, tap elbow to knee. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze the block. Inhale. Exhale. The more you squeeze, the better. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Exhale, bring it in. Four. Exhale, bring it in. Three, bring it in. Last two, last one. And switch. So now the block goes on the left thigh, left upper arm on the block. Match the right side with your left. Curl up, maybe you're supporting the head with the left hand. Inhale, extend right leg forward, right arm back. Exhale, tap elbow to knee. Inhale, exhale, seven six, five, squeeze the block, four, three, last two, last one. Lay all the way down, move the block lovingly to the side, hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze, a little rock left and right. Now bring your hands behind your thighs, start to rock and roll up and down the length of your mat. Get a little momentum and see if you can come up to boat pose without letting your toes touch the floor. So hands behind your thighs, use your arms as leverage to try to get right on top of your sit bones, not behind them. Chest up, shoulders back, lift your toes to eye level. You might stay here. The priority here is the length in your spine. You might reach your arms forward. Breathe for five, four, three, two, take an inhale. And as you exhale, lower to your low boat, Ardha Navasana, hover over the mat, ribs hug in for five, four, three, two, inhale, exhale, lift up to boat. You can always bring hands behind the thighs. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale. Let's do two more, inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, lift, lift up a little taller, chest up, shoulders back, arms forward, last breath in, and then release. Cross your ankles, roll over your feet, make your way onto hands and knees in a tabletop position. And then just take a few rounds of cat-cow here. And as you inhale, arch the spine, exhale, round. And now every time you come to that cow pose where you're arching your spine, really let the belly relax. And then exhale round. So there's a time and place for everything. We don't always want to be tensing the belly in. We want to also feel that sense of release. Now make your way back towards center. Lower your forearms to the mat. So if you've taken my class, you probably know these are my... Some of my two favorite exercises to pair, we'll do a plank on the forearms, elbows no wider than shoulder width apart. Feel that shoulder girdle lift away from the floor. You're not sinking in the chest, push the floor away from you. Rock your pelvis backwards, just like we do in cat pose. So there's no trace of a back bend in the lower body. And then step your feet back, plank on the forearms. Now we are here for a minute, which can feel like an eternity. You can do this with the knees down and it's still so active. So either way, knees up or down, push the floor away from you. Feel your shoulders spread across the back. Lift your pubic bone up and in towards the navel and lengthen the tailbone to the heels. So the pelvis rocks backwards. There's no trace of a back bend in the lower body but we're not rounding the upper back. Instead, can you reach your chest forward as if you were shining your collarbones forward? Keep pushing the heels back if your knees are lifted. Also press your thigh bones up towards the ceiling, but as you do that, make sure the tailbone is heavy. Tailbone heavy, pubic bone lifts up and in. Press down through the palms, the forearms, push the floor away from you any amount more so the shoulders spread across your back rather than wing out. Gaze is down, one more inhale, and exhale, release. 
point your toes. So we'll balance that with a back bend. Rest your arms back by your sides. Press down through your feet. Inhale. Lift your head, your chest, your shoulders. And I really like the pairing of these two poses because our planks strengthen our front body. And they teach us such great alignment too, like how to keep the pelvis spilling backwards so that the core is working, it's stable, supporting the body. The heart reaches forward. We're not rounding the shoulders or upper back. That's really the position we need for chaturanga, low push-up position, as well as arm balances. And then this pose strengthens your back muscles and those get tight from sitting a lot. Can you roll the shoulders away from the floor a little more? Keep the gaze down so the crown of the head is reaching forward. Press down through every toenail, but lift the kneecaps, engage the quads. If you feel this in the low back at all, try to lengthen your tailbone to your heels. Think about pressing the pubic bone into the mat. Take one more breath in. Exhale, lower down, slide your hands by your low ribs. Press up onto hands and knees. Child's pose. Big toes touch, let your hips melt back, relax the head. Full breath in, exhale out of the mouth. Slowly roll up so you're sitting back on your heels. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. As you exhale, cactus your elbows, puff up your chest, little baby back bend, arch your spine, relax the belly, maybe look up. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, pull your palms together in front of your heart. Let the eyes soften or close. Notice what's present, the warmth in the body. Let's bring gratitude towards our bodies, what they do for us each and every day. And that is all my friends. Thank you so much for practicing. Let me know how it went for you and I'll see you on the mat soon.